Evans and Gure runs a small shop in one of eastern Nairobi's crowded slums. To the untrained eye, these may be the tools of a skilled painter, carpenter, or plumber. But looks can be deceiving. This is the studio of one of Kenya's most popular contemporary artists. He calls his work junk art and with good reason. His tools of choice, other people's trash. My process of create, creation of junk art really starts at um, going to different places where I, I, I sort junk and I collect e everything that I need. If I come with it, I sort it, I clean it, and then I process it. Ngure's pieces have captured the attention of art critics and are often on display. Some people say his work is innovative and edgy. I like the industrial aspect of them because of the way he recycles junk, like the video jacks and the plug. Yeah, so that's what I like about them. But Ngure's work isn't limited to earrings and chains. He also creates pieces of art featuring some of Kenya's endangered wildlife. For instance, the butterfly is an indicator of the health of an environment, you know. When a place has so many butterflies, that means that place is well kept. So my aim is to have that biodiversity in our lives so that everybody realizes that we cannot live without the animals. He said he hopes to show people how their actions can affect the ecosystem. Littering has been a big problem in Kenya. To deal with it, the government banned plastic bags last year. It's helped change the country's approach to waste disposal. The junk artist said he simply wants to play his part for a cleaner Kenya. Regan Devines, TRT World.